by the science guy. The light strikes a photoemissive, that is, a light-sensitive surface. The night vision goggles are also quite effective in actual combat. Great value in the performance of a variety of other nighttime tasks. All right, everyone. So today I have a PVS-14, and we're going to go ahead and build this out with a image intensifier tube. So when you get your parts kit, it's going to come with everything you need, obviously, except for the tube that you are going to add later. What you want to do is you're going to take this top objective lens here. All right, there we go. And then you want to take apart these four screws here. Now you want to be super careful when un uh, opening this here because there's going to be a little ribbon cable and you don't want to tear that off. That is what's going to give your image intensifier some power. Now you can see here, there's this little, little prong here. That's what's going to line up your tube. Now one very important thing to do with your tube before installing it is uh, give it a good spray with some compressed air on both sides and inspect it. Make sure there's no dust particles or uh, anything on there like smudges. If you do have anything like that, you can take a little Q-tip like this, uh, some 90% or so rubbing alcohol. Give it a good rub on each side. You start in the middle, work your way out. And then you can take a lens cloth and very gently do each side. And then again, hit it with some compressed air to get those fibers off. Perfect. So now, as speaking before, you can see the notch here. You're going to line it up with a notch in there as well. So we're going to go ahead and slide that in. Careful not to touch the lens while you're doing that. I'm trying not to myself here. Boom. There we go. Okay, now that we got that in there, we're going to go ahead and close it up. Now that that's all screwed in, I forgot to mention too, if you do have, there's two types of tubes you can put in here, and I'll list them in the description or in the video itself. Um, I have the one that does not have the pigtails on it. This is just, uh, has no gain control over it. So if you do have a tube that has gain control, before you put that battery compartment back on, you need to make sure that you connect those pigtails. Now the next step after you've done that is you're going to go ahead and you're going to put in your light ring. There's a little nub at the top that lines up with a little notch in there. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, be careful not to touch the lens when you're doing this. All right, so now that's in there. Now this is a, a crucial part. I actually probably should grease this up a little bit. Um, I got some just Dow 33 uh, silicone base grease that you can put on all the threads. I've already done it on a lot of these other threads here. Um, just to smooth it out a little bit, uh, the silicone doesn't degrade the plastic and the grease makes it just so it doesn't seep into the rest of it. So anyway, this is uh, the, the locking ring and this is the most important part um, because if you force this in, it will counter thread and it will rip your threads up. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop it in there. Now if you don't have a tool for it, which you probably don't because they don't sell them to civilians, take a used credit card like this, cut it to the dimensions, and slip it in. Now I'm going to go backwards until you hear a click. There it is. All right. Now just very slowly tighten that ring. You don't want to over tighten this either. Alright, so once you've done this, you can go ahead and thread your, your objective lens on. Please consider the following. If you want to purge this, you take this screw out here and you can get either nitrogen or argon gas. And then you can go ahead and spray it into there the best you can. Plug your finger over that hole and then screw it back in. There's really not much more to it. Um, so one last thing to do is plug it in and we'll see if she runs. All right, so I'm in my basement. Um, you can see it's pretty fucking dark in here. Oh, if I can get it to, oh yeah. It looks much better in person too. It's just I'm trying to get my phone to focus on it, but uh, I might try to get a GoPro and try to focus it here. There we go. I also haven't focused the rings at all yet, but again there, 
I do not have infrared activated, activated either yet. Not too bad. The future military and civilian potential of night vision techniques is limited only by man's imagination.